song book with you, please turn to song 497. 497. Please stand. Oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Keep me safe, O oh God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. My happiness lies in you alone. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you, I will always serve you, I will always keep you in my sight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Good morning, my friends. Welcome to our Holy Mass on this beautiful day. We come together praising God for all the blessings that He has given to each one of us, especially as our country honors and uh, uh, celebrates uh, the life and uh, the works and the sacrifices of one of the champions of uh, human rights, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. We pray that we too may become uh, the beacon of God's light in the world. Let us pause, acknowledge our sins and pray for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Heaven Virgin, O the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly ask you, O Lord, lover of the human family, to pour out more fully upon us the grace of your Spirit, and grant that walking worthily in the vocation to which you have called us, we may bear witness to the truth before others and seek with confidence the unity of all believers in the bond of peace. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and married their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming the high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand 
till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power, the Lord, will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them. Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth to an old cloak. If he it does, its fullness pulls away the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, it is... Uh, it is good to uh, hear Jesus talk about wine, right? <laughs> right? Wine is the element that brings joy. Right? It is the element that brings friends together. The element that motivates, you know, celebration, right? Uh, friendship, love, and joy, uh, and harmony, right? And. Um, and we look at the conditions of our country at the moment uh, and know that uh, we all need to pray a lot for the United States of America, right? So that we can really live up to the name, right? Uh, United State of America. Again, uh, this is truly, if we live the gospel, then we, we really reflect all of these life events and the current uh, situations uh, using the Word of God guiding us. You know, Jesus said that, you know, uh, nobody put new wine into old wine skins because they don't go together. But you use the new wine skin, you know, to put new wine and that is uh, an, an, uh, a direct invitation for all of us to always embrace a new attitude. And our new, new attitude is in Jesus. He's always stretching us. He's always challenging us to do greater than, uh, you know, ordinary, ordinary behaviors, you know. Ordinary behaviors would be like a tit for a tat, right? A tooth for a tooth, an eye for an eye. You know, 
revenge, retaliation, hatred in the hearts, making enemies, division, injustices. You know, Jesus invites people to go out of that world into a new world, his world, God's world. And the, the word of God is forgiveness, is to go an extra mile, is to make sacrifices for each other, not just only about myself. Is to be concerned for our country, for our people, for our young generation, not only about my well-being. So all of those things motivate people like Martin Luther King to uh, go forth, you know, uh, and to really uh, be so determined to, to change, right? And to motivate change, change for the better, change for uh, uh, the sake of others, change for the people who have no voice, who have no rights, who have no privilege, uh, or whatever in our uh, uh, blessed uh, country that the Lord has blessed with so many years. And He's still continuing to, to bless us. The Lord continues to bless us if we turn to Him, if we change our hearts, if we always go the extra mile. And when we stretch ourselves, when we face the challenge of the gospel, when we try our best to put them into practice, the gospel values that Jesus has instilled in the hearts and in the conscience of human beings, hopefully we will build a better world. We will build a better country. We will truly put new wine into new wine skins. Please stand. My dear friends, as the Father sent His Son to heal and redeem us, we now ask Him to hear and answer these prayers that we may be comforted in any affliction. For all church leaders, may the example of Jesus inspire them in humble service of love for God and people. We ask, let us pray to the Lord. For the leaders of all nations in our world, may God's desire for unity be brought to greater fruition in their lives and works. Let us pray to the Lord. For those isolated in nursing homes and treatment facilities, those who are affected by the COVID-19, those who are serving them and their family members, may Christ be present to them as they make their own way of the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. For our local community, here at seas, may we be joyful recipients of the new life in Jesus, which God offers us through the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all the diseased, especially our dear friend Victor Mestas, and for all of his family members, through the mercy of God, may they rejoice at the eternal wedding banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For our special intention, we bring to the altar of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. O Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in pain. O oh, loving Mother, you know what we need. We are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O oh, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit to be us and work of him, and hence we become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We are for you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once and for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth, so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations, so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and, and then engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling and ruling the whole church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full. Are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Governor, Bishop, his brother bishops, and other clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the name Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church. Grant, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under me, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. My dear friends, I encourage you to use uh, parts of the day uh, for some quiet prayers, especially uh, as we sincerely pray for our country, uh, for uh, unity in the church, and for uh, the promotion of peace and justice uh, in our world. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight.